What is going on guys? My name is Power Bang and welcome to today's video. Before we get into it though, I wanted to announce a contest I'm running for the month of June. If we can hit 500,000 subscribers on the channel before the end of the month, I will be giving away two brand new high-end devices to my subscribers, the Banger Nation. All you gotta do to join is smash that subscribe button and make sure you turn on those post notifications so you get those alerts each and every time I drop a new video. Thanks so much for all the love and support guys. Let's go ahead and get into today's content. What is going on guys my name is power bang welcome back to PUBG mobile we are going to be learning how to jump out of a plane today the right way the proper way and making sure that you guys get to your destination first not before not after somebody else does that's not cool first thing you want to do is open up the map and kind of identify where in the world you're traveling over so first off Pachinki, Razok, School, and Yaznai are all obvious jump locations. They're quite populated and kind of off the beaten path. Now, what you want to do is kind of look for places that you want to jump that you prefer. I'm going to jump up here to the Georgia Pole crates. We'll jump up there. And uh, you want to jump somewhere in the neighborhood of 1,850 to 1,900 meters. And I'll show you why in just a moment. So here it is. Right there, we're going to jump. We're out actually a little bit late. And then you want to immediately angle the joystick on the left. You see how I'm uh, angling that at about 10 o'clock. Uh, if, if I'll put some clock numbers on the screen. Yeah, put it at about 10 o'clock and then fly towards your target. Again, use the eyeball tool to glance over on occasion and look at where you're going. Now, the range on this uh, technique is somewhere in the neighborhood of 2,300 meters. They recently tweaked the fall speed from 116 kilometers, I believe, or 114, something like that. Um, so now it's 126. And just like that, you can see I am over the crates. Boom. Very nicely done. Very easy. And then I can fly straight down as well with no gliding. And check this out. If we look behind us right now, absolutely no one dared to jump this far. So we are going to have the crates all to ourselves, and it drops me on the bottom. Of, of course it does. All right, so we're going to continue to loot up here, and yeah, we might have another couple examples to show you in just a moment. All right, so here we go on another approach, and we are looking at the north. Now, let's go to somewhere that's a little bit competitive that we know is going to have a lot of traffic. Um, why don't we try the school this time? There it is, just off the path of the plane. We know this is well within range, and we should see competition here. Our goal is to be first, so when do you jump? That is the question. As you're approaching, you want to make sure that you have the map off. Pay attention to the radar on the top, your compass up there. Uh, very top of the screen, you've got a distance to the target. And you, again, you want to jump as soon as you're in range. Try to do this around 1,900 meters right about now. And here we go. Out of the plane we go. The further away you jump, the more precise your angle has to be in order to reach the target in the air. So that is why you see me checking very early on in my flight if I'm on track. Now, if you jump before or uh, with less distance to go than 1,900 meters, um, you know, basically you, you've got more time to adjust. So if you do veer off course a little bit, that is completely fine. So you see me skying in right now. As you're flying, check behind you. You see all these people flying around. Look for the, look for the dots. Another guy above me right there that jumped later out of the plane. And there it is. We've got our uh, shoot popped, and here we go. Even people that jumped right over the top of the school, we should still beat them there. You can see them flying above me, shoot starting to pop. And check this out. We are going to be first by a fair bit. So now it's just a matter of grabbing this car 98 and hopefully, you know, iron sighting somebody to death. We'll see. Oh, we got one, two. Oh, what the heck. Let's go for the no-scope. We got some in the auditorium here. This is going to get sketchy. Oh, baby. We'll grab some uh, supplemental stuff just in case. Upstairs. We got outside. Still up on our second floor. Let's go across the way. This is exciting. You see why you want to be first, though, guys. You get the gun in hand, and they are running from you. You are getting to be on the offensive. Now, I don't necessarily recommend running around with a bolt-action sniper rifle on the offensive, but, you know, for the lulls, right? For the lulls. Let's go back up to the roof, see what's up.
Come on, peek it. Oh. Let's go up to the, the, the big bad top roof. Mm -mm -mm. There's some armor for me. Ooh, a four times scope. Are you kidding me? They just want me to win this game. We got two in there? That's scary sounding. Stand here for a second until we see what's up. I'm so scared. Not really. Where are these guys, man? I'm literally trying to get this uh, this car 98 action. I'm clearing the school with a car 98. There's that fighting. That's what we're looking for. Peek it. I'm actually going to get some health going on. Sounds like they might be up top. I don't know. Not up top top. All right, there's another one. Front door. Front door. Got that no scope. All right. Anyway, that's how you clear the school with the car 98. K. Okay. <laughs> yeah, don't try that at home, kids. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's why you want to get there first. Get there first. Get a gun. Clear yourself out of the way, and then, then, and only then, get on to winning that chicken dinner. Let's take a look at a couple more examples here, and we will call this a video. All right, we got another woman in a trench coat here. Uh, yeah, d totally different story. But anyway, we got another uh, flight path coming in here, and check this out. Now it's time for hot drops. Hot drops. Now this is going to be right over the top of school. Again, we're going to use this one as a great example. And again, guys, even though it's going right over the top of school, logic tells you, right, you want to jump like as close as you can to it. So you'll be there first. You'll go straight down. Let's see if that's actually the case here as we approach. So again, check out the distance. Wait till you're about 1,900 meters, and then boom, here we go. We're out of the plane. And again, holding that uh, that dial over there at about 10 o'clock over on the left side. So you're slicing through the air at an angle. You see how you keep it at 126 miles per hour, or kilometers per hour, rather. And then use your eyeball to make sure you see how I'm off uh, the beaten path there a little bit. I got to readjust and go back towards the school. And again, you use your right thumb to do that or however you play, use the right side of the device. So here we go, we're going in. And as we're getting closer, you can drag down to nine o'clock and check this out. The speed increases, you start to fall much more quickly, coming in around 180 kilometers. That is gonna get you to the ground much, much more quickly. And as you are uh, falling in, I actually overdid it that time. I just wanted to demonstrate that you can drag it down uh, as you're sliding in, but check around you and look at that. Right above me, there are people and what do you know, we beat them again. We are first down, but can we find a weapon first is the question. Can we find a machete? I see a weapon. Let's go. Sorry, man. This is... This is why you want to get down first, guys. Gene, if you ain't first, you're last. You know what I'm talking about? That phrase is trademark, not to use the tradition of Ricky Bobby. Create chaos. Wreak havoc. Pee on your tree, man. You want to establish your turf. You can't do that if you're flying around in the sky getting shot at by somebody like me who's already on the ground. You know what I'm saying? All right, grab your AR, that's the top priority. Once you've done that, 
Look around for armor and other supporting stuff. Basically loot as you normally would. But that AR is absolutely imperative to winning fights early. Medium, long range, it does not matter. You're good to go. Where is this guy out here? Now that's a lot closer. <laughs> and here we go for one more run at this uh, this island here. Let's take a look at where we should go this time. We've got Yasnaya, we've got Rozak, we've got School, uh, Milta, we got Milta Power. Where could I go? Novo Ripnoye. Trying to decide where I'm gonna go. Let's go to the Milta Power control room right there again check your distance 22 21 20 19 and here we go there it is just like that you jump out and we look to be on target there using that eyeball tool but again look around and again remember the people that jump further on the flight path from you will come into either your right or left depending on which side of the plane you jump from um but yeah i know that when i drop in People that are either right above me, right behind me, they're using the same method that I am if they're flying to the same place. Otherwise, see how I had to readjust there? I was off track just a little bit. Coming in hot, but there it is. Now we can drag this down a little bit, increase speed, get to where we need to go, and you want to increase that speed as soon as you know that you've got the distance to make the jump, but no, oh my god, a freaking spider, yo. Whoa, that was creepy. Did anybody see that? Oh my god. I didn't even kill the poor guy. Man, that is just, uh, I'm not gonna lie, man. How's that for a, like, little surprise moment? Talk about goosebumps. Anyways, here we are. Again, nobody challenges us, and again, we've got ourselves run of Milta Power Control Room so we can loot up, and ain't nobody stopping us now. We're gonna continue to slay out and absolutely destroy the competition now because we know we, we've got it all to ourselves, man. All right, guys, so there's two final things about parachuting that you need to know that's gonna basically, uh, you know, you'll use in other situations, and we're gonna discuss both of those in this arcade match. Um, so the first of those is even if you're going straight down out of the plane, you always wanna be slicing at that angle. Hold your joystick to the left or the right, whatever's more comfortable for you. I prefer the left, easier to drag to the side of the phone. Um, watch this, I'm gonna go straight out of the plane to the school. So even if you're going straight down, um, you wanna get that angle going. So right there, you basically angle your guy straight down, you, you drag down on the right side to do this, and then check this out. 234 miles an hour with the slice as well. Now if you're gonna fall short, this is the second technique here, if you're gonna fall short, let up and let it drift a little bit. When you hit about 21 kilometers per hour, hold forward again, then let go. Hold forward, then let go. And who's on the roof first? Anybody know? Oh, it's me, that's right. So, unfortunately, we don't have any uh, guns right away here. Got you, bro. All right. Yay for Uzi kills from across the map. And that's pretty much it, guys. Those are all the tips I have for parachuting farther, faster, longer, stronger, better, better. Get those chicken dinners is what I'm trying to say, guys. Use that angle, 10 o'clock, drop first, get those guns, knock them out of the sky. Eh, you know, it is what it is. That's all I got, though, for now, guys. Smash the like button on this one because you've been asking for it. 5,000 likes at a minimum, baby. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. We do have those two phones at the end of June if we get that 500K gold. That's all I got, though, guys. Power Bank, signing out. Catch you guys later.